All right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we got Vader running right now. Like I said, this is gonna be the stopping point of the day, man. Just got everything. AWE going crazy, man. Shout out AWE, newest channel sponsor, man. I love y'all. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Good John, welcome back to it again. Another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, and that little, you know, what I'm saying summary from last vlog that you guys just seen before the intro. You guys know that today is part two of installing the AEM wideband on Vader. We already got all the wires hooked up and everything. We got the wires ran through the firewall and all that. If you guys are interested in seeing that, then go ahead and tap in with that video. I'll put a card up. I believe they go right here. It's been a minute since I did the cards, but I'll put a card up for you guys and it'll be tagged to the end of this video. So if you want, go check it out um, and then get caught up and then come back to this video if you want to do that that way. But we're getting straight into today's video right now. I'm about to go ahead and jack the car up because I need to install the O2 sensor that AEM provides. Basically, uh, my boy Christian over at NRG already put a bung in my exhaust. So all I have to do is um, unscrew, I think it's a seven millimeter bolt. I just gotta unscrew that and then screw in the O2 sensor will connect it to the harness that's in the engine bay then connect the power and the ground cables um it does look like i'm gonna have to extend the power wire though um so we'll get to that when the time comes but after that all we have to do is reconnect the battery turn the car on and we should have a working wideband on the car so let's go ahead get the car jacked up in the air and get straight into this vlog man i'm stoked no cap all right, y'all, so this is the bung that I was telling y'all about. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this bolt right here. Then I'm gonna screw in the O2 sensor and we'll run the wires as needed um, until we get it to the top of the cap. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I got the O2 sensor connected now. Now, all I have to do, I just gotta route these wires out of the way of the exhaust so they don't touch the exhaust nor the headers. And then we can go back up top and connect the positive and the negative cables, reconnect the battery, and we should be good. As you guys can see, I got extra wire right here. We're gonna get to working with the power in the ground now. Um, we do have the O2 sensor connected. All the wires are ran. It's kind of semi-clean. I'm gonna clean it up some more. As you guys can tell, the car is on the floor. Got everything connected as we needed it to be. Now it's time to go ahead and extend the power wire because we are going to be putting it oh, i know this just like lifts up and this right here is going to be our power wire so we're going to be connecting the power to this joint and then for the ground you know you need metal to metal so we're going to figure that out i think i'm going to be able to put it through here but there's pain on that so well, it has to be bare metal you know what i'm saying so i might have to do it to the block i don't want to do it to the block but I'm gonna figure it out and I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. All right, you guys, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but I went ahead and routed my ground to the bolt for the intake manifold. All I had to do was unscrew it a little bit and then put the ground in between the bolt itself and the washer and then tighten it back down. I found that to be the easiest ground um, without having to extend the wire itself. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and just connected it to see 
if you know what I'm saying my power wire and my ground were good um, I know I need to go to AutoZone and grab one of those little dummy fuses that way I can have it uh, connected to the fuse for the cigarette lighter so that it only has power whenever the car is actually on right now it's you know on because it's plugged into just straight power so it's constantly getting power so with that being said y'all um i'm finna go ahead and turn the car on and we'll see if we actually have you know what i'm saying So we have everything connected as of right now. Um, I'm gonna end up going to AutoZone, grabbing the thing for the fuse. I'll get that connected and it'll be good. Five minutes later. You're gonna need this joint right here. Basically it's a dummy fuse or a fuse adapter. This part goes into the fuse box and then it has an area for the fuse itself. Then you can go ahead and splice the wire. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this joint down to the amount that we actually need and we'll get this joint going. Get all right, y'all, so your finished product should look something like this. Now, of course, with this wire in the way, the top for the fuse box is not gonna be able to seat properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little Dremel and I'm gonna cut a little slit right here in this corner. That way the wire can kind of rest in that position and then the box will be, the top will be able to go over the fuse box. So shout out my boy, Paul. We got this small little Dremel right here. It should be able to do the trick, man. Let's go ahead and get it going. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, this little slit right there, now the wire can just rest in this area and the top will be able to close, so throw this joint back on right here, you feel me, boom, that clicks into place, take this joint, put the box on there, we're all good man, got that wire sitting nice and flush, no issues, now we're going to go ahead, turn the car on and make sure that the gauge is working all right you guys so as y'all can see we got the gauge connected it is reading right now uh, i'm gonna take it on a quick little rip just to make sure that it's you know what i'm saying reading correctly and actually reading okay okay you know what i'm saying y'all are gonna have to bear with me uh i'm still trying to get used to the gauge itself um but yeah, man, as you guys can see, driving right now, the gauge is actually working. Um, I don't think I need to calibrate it. I think it's already, I think it's good. Jesus Christ, bro. Golly, went close as hell to Vader, almost smacked him. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it in the air later on for me, but right now for y'all. But as y'all can see, went on a nice little drive. It works, cut the car off, it turns off, doors open, clusters off, everything's off, close the door, put in the accessory mode, it still doesn't turn on, turn the car on, and it's on, so, yeah man, we like that, it's not gonna drain the battery, it's functional, it's working, and yeah man, you know what I'm saying, now we have a functional wide band on the car. Um, one step closer, like I said, going to the drag strip Friday night. I'm um, gonna make some data logs um, and, you know, just get the car overall buttoned up, send some revisions and whatnot, and, uh, you know, we'll send it. But until I get the car up in the air, man, I'm gonna see y'all in a couple of seconds. All right, y'all, as y'all can tell, we got Vader up in the air right now. Basically, just wanted to go over all the wiring. Just wanted to make sure that they're out of the way of the exhaust nothing is hanging too low as you guys can see i did end up zip tying the wires to the transmission line um you know i did notice that it was already kind of mounted up to the transmission brace so with that being said um i was like it just makes the most sense to go ahead and zip tie it to this it'll be out of the way of the exhaust 
also it's not hanging down too low i know the car is not gonna bottom out and you know something get caught or whatever one of the lines get caught or something like that i might add another zip tie like right here just to make sure that it's a hundred percent rigid as you guys can see i have the line that comes from the engine bay to connect to this connector i have it ran out of the way of the header that way it doesn't get you know heated up and then start to melt or anything like that um, but as you guys can see, everything looks pretty good underneath here, man. Um, no concerns, honestly. And then the oil pan for the real JI squad members, man. You guys know the oil pan was sweating a little bit. I did have that leak coming from that boat. But ever since I tightened it up, man, no oil leak no more. So we should be good. And we'll go ahead and add another zip tie to this just to make sure that it's nice and you know what I'm saying, secure, and I don't have to, you know, worry about anything, just a little bit of peace of mind for me. All right, y'all, so I know that I said I was just gonna add another one to make it more rigid, but I ended up not liking the fact that the connector itself was exposed like that, so I have it sitting on top of the brace now and zip-tied it, and then I went ahead and zip-tied the lines. Made a little bit of slack, just a little bit, um, but went ahead and zip tied those as well just to make sure everything's secure. Now this is looking a lot better. I'm a little more confident in this. tell since we are on E85 instead of the tips turning black on the inside they're actually turning yellow or like it's kind of like a goldish tint to them which is insane I'm not gonna lie and then I believe I think I think those are touching I think that side is touching if I'm not mistaken um I'm gonna see when I wash the car if it is I'm gonna have to kind of like play with the exhaust hangers on that side and see if I can get some more slack. But that side looks perfectly fine. Um, one thing that I do like about the gauge is when I hit the remote start, that joint turns off. So you do like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we like that. We like that, you know what I'm saying? We like that, all right? So, got the gauge installed, man. I'm super stoked. I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait to get this car to the track. As you guys can see, it is, well, it was raining earlier. Hopefully, the rain does not mess up our plans for Friday because y'all know we're gonna be data logging and getting some revisions to Vader's tune and just making sure that everything is all right and the car is nice and healthy, man. So I hope the weather holds out and we don't have any issues. Uh, the car is not even cammed yet, bro, and it just sounds so phenomenal. I can't wait to throw the heads in the cam on this car and really wake it up. But, jeez, bro. Y'all just enjoy this with me for a couple of seconds. Without further ado, we got Vader going crazy over here, man. Um, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the kid. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you guys are interested in the AEM wideband, man, honestly, first impressions. Um, I haven't really been able to drive the car for a minute and like drive with the gauge and live with it, but first impressions, um, it works really well. I don't see any like form of lagging, you know, like when I turn on the car, it's instantly booting up. It's not like taking a couple seconds to start booting up. So that's a good thing to note. We're gonna see how it goes, man. But like I say, without further ado, I'm not even gonna talk you guys' ears off no more. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Once again, big shout out to AWE, man. Drop a comment in the comment section for me, man. Turn on those post notifications and make sure you guys are tuning in with the live chats, man. Y'all let me know, it's five o'clock too late because when I was doing the videos at 4 p.m., I was getting so many people in the live chats and it was, you know what I'm saying, starting to become a community type, you feel me? But now since I switched to five, I see not that many people are able to tune in. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below what time works better for you guys, 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Central Time. Y'all let me know, man. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and roll that outro, man. It's going to close it out for today's video. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.